All right, cool. We have our next set of doubles coming up. It is going to be... Dinty and Blink. Dinty and Blink versus Aerolink and Iggy. Yeah, so uh, they're getting Ooh, ready right Falco. now. I've never even seen a Falco. And uh, are they starting? Yeah, I think they're starting. So uh, this is going to be good stuff. This is the other side of Winner's oh, cool. Simmies. Cool. Smashville looks kind of small right now. Maybe Rosalina is just that big. It's Rosalina. Rosalina <laughs> is gigantic. She is a monstrously large mm -hmm. woman. She's seven foot tall, I think. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, let's see. We have uh, Dinty and Blink having a, a bit of stage control Ooh, right now. That dash attack's great for regaining the control. Yeah. Yeah, very much so. Even if you hit everybody, that's a good thing. You hit yeah. more opponents than... <laughs> Yeah, uh, and you know that's that's sort of like a doubles mentality in general. Mm -hmm. Is just the concept of, you know, if if I have the option of hitting all three of the other opponents, <laughs> you're still coming out. Yeah. In ahead, Definitely. you know. So uh, ooh, Blink ended up doing an excellent back air. Uh, ends up getting that stock pretty handily. I'm curious about Falco. I know that people didn't play Falco in Brawl Teams because Falco was pretty much a 1v1 character. He had those chain grabs and everything. Yeah. So how's he playing in this game, and what's he doing for this team right now? Well, so uh, one of the reasons why Falco isn't really playable in teams in other games, wow, Errol Link ends up getting a Man. read with down smash. That was phenomenal. <laughs> uh, so one of the things is the fact that Falco's recovery is no longer garbage. Oh. Which is great, because you can side B, and then you can up B after the fact. Uh, so that's really good. Mm -hmm. um, and the other thing is that he's just, his entire game plan is just different now. Like like in Melee and PM and things like that, he relied on uh, just control through comboing. He yeah. needed some... He needed some space to be able to just put in lots of lots of shield pressure. In Brawl, he focused more on just chain grabs and lasers, and that's sort of how he did things. And he couldn't really kill very well, and those things don't really work well in teams in general. The long game doesn't really work well. In teams. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, the long game can work well, but you have to have a character that can exhibit a large amount of control for that to work. Yeah. Uh, so... Uh, Dinty ended up getting red. He splats against the front screen. Right. Red team up a stock, and now they're about even stocks. Yeah, this is a, this is a very even game. Aerolink doing a very nice job of keeping control of his stock, something that he typically uh, you know, focuses on is just sort of uh, biding his time and uh, waiting out neutral until he can get a very sizable uh, advantage. One of my favorite things about Sheik in Melee and Brawl and everything, when you're playing teams, she's like a shadow. She's fast and low and she can help you out exactly when you need to with needles or a dash attack. Yeah. So I always used to play a support character role with Sheik and when when the, they knock the opponent up in the air, I'm like, oh, I'll take the fares all day. Yeah, 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 so, exactly. And and it looks like it's what Scooby-Doo, <laughs> our friend Scooby-Doo is doing. AKA T-Log Dinty. <laughs> That, that is the role they seem to be taking place of. Uh, Falco has some good kill options. And uh, so, you know, uh, he's just sort of giving, giving Blink on point and just letting him sort of Ooh, take control. You beautiful know? auto reticule. Yeah. Remember when I told you those mini shockwaves ago, you can auto reticule and drop below the stage and change the angle? Those shots were shooting straight up into the sky. Yeah, that's pretty Except cool. Except for they were at an angle, so it's not <laughs> yeah. straight up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless the sky's big enough that any angle into the sky is straight into the sky, but we're not going to go there. That's math we don't want to do right now. No, it is very <laughs> cool indeed. Uh, so Okay, 2v1. I'm loving this. This so I love about 2v1s is it really tests your team synergy. Sure, you can do it as a series of 1v1s, and maybe when the other guy dies, you step in, but you get so much more of an advantage trying to work around each other's weaknesses as your teammate's still yeah. alive. But then that also reveals your weaknesses. Do you really trust your teammate? Do yeah. you have this energy? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Right there. Very scary. So Aerolink jumped. That was great. There there are very few people I trust in teams. <laughs> 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 I just assume that everyone that I team with is going to screw. I just wish oh, there was nice. two of me just because I'd rather blame myself than blame another person. You know? And that's another interesting strategy. You let the person with two stocks 
or one stock go crazy, and then you can decide based on that data, should you steal a stock or let the other person ride it out with his yeah, yeah, matchup? Yeah. How very, very interesting idea. I so we're already oh. at high-level team play. I'm loving this. <laughs> Look at that, Sheik. Wow. And so uh, Dinti oh, has brought it back pretty well. Uh, ends up uh, taking that 2v1. Um, <laughs> Iggy's just using uh, the gravity pool to be able to uh, essentially block out Sheik's neutral game. And Luma also is doing the same thing. Oh, oh wow! That and move. This is this is a bit different than what uh, what I initially expected. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought that t uh, Dinty's team would be able to uh, yeah just Mop clean up. it up. But uh, man, Aerolink and Iggy, they're doing well. Oh, I love characters like Palatina. They're really specialized, really interesting in their own way, but in teams, it seems like all of the holes that they have get covered up by solid synergy, yeah. solid teamwork. I couldn't even tell half the time that was Palatina in there, just jumping in, throwing in yeah. those bears yeah, and yeah. bears. She's just, she's and then just all of a sudden, wing smash. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking A, man. That wing smash. I, I seriously think that wing smash was pivotal to, yeah. uh, to their game. win. Yeah. yeah. And, I mean, a lot of times, that's really what it comes down to, yeah. is just... Uh, that very pivotal moment where you get a key read uh, and read someone down. loses their stock much earlier than, than traditionally they would. Correct. All right, so uh, Blink is taking a bit, of, a bit of damage right now, already at 72%. 85% uh, probably needs to stay back a bit, let Dinty uh, sort of take point since he is at 27%. Don't want to get that early stock loss. Yeah. Love trading positions based on in the moment conditions like that. Oh, this guy's reading all my this. Hey, teammate, you deal with it. I'm gonna hang out here behind you and back you up. Yeah. And even though a lot of Ooh. there's not a lot of conversation between those two players, they you can see it. They, they know. can do they it. Know. They they yeah. feel it and they do it. My brother and I love to talk. Like team communication is what we love to do in order to clear up some of these confusing situations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you see everyone sort of ignoring the balloon. Uh, <laughs> as the meta game evolves, yes. people will be focusing more on, on balloon. that balloon. It's going to be really important mm -hmm. to maintain balloon control. Mm -hmm. I mean, else you, you may just lose. Like you know, you know the Ridley stage in this game. If yeah. you pop the balloon, you gain control of it, which is very important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whenever you gain control of the balloon, you just have so many advantages in general. It's pretty great. This is all sarcasm, by the way. Don't believe us. We're just we're just having fun. Oh, and Blink ends up losing his stock very early again. So both Aerolink and Rosalina, or uh, Palatina and Rosalina, have really good up air kill moves that they can chase, but they can back each other up when one doesn't work. Yeah, I really yeah. like that about this team. So they need to focus on pushing the opponents up. Yeah, platforms are great for that. Here they go. Oh, oh! wow! Dinty ends up Dragon taking that stock away with a back air. That's a Dragon Ball Z moment. Yeah, it really was. Both of them sent flying and then just punching each other. But uh, all right, we got four stocks to three. Ooh, nice forward smash by Dinty. That monkey, perfect spacing. And here's sort of the thing: is that because they really just need to to get rid of Dinty. 125 percent it's yeah. time for him to go he's been slow playing the entire match there he goes. oh, oh wow enough. he's been slow playing the entire match and that slow play is uh essentially based off of the fact that uh blink has Gosh. been you know been Ooh. super on point and uh he's been just taking massive damage so, so one, one thing i love about diddy's ability to survive he, he gets hit he goes up high then he monkey flips you yeah. can go deep into the stage or fall down. Yeah. And that's really good. That increased impulse of uh, momentum really yes. throws off the other team. Yeah. Especially in a team situation, you have to coordinate who's going to get him and why and with what. And right now we are at a pivotal moment. Oh, Ooh, and there throws all around. Whenever you end up seeing uh, this moment where you have uh, multiple people at large percentages, but uh, disparate uh, stocks. Correct. Um, the game can change very swiftly to whoever is actually in the lead. Correct. You can never actually tell, regardless of the stock. Even if, yeah, even if you're stocked down, if you yeah. can knock the other opponent around well enough and then, then double-team the other guy, mm -hmm. or if you take a stock and use that opportunity to do the same, 
that's a game changer. It swings the momentum so heavily. Yeah. And so now we are at a very even game. Okay. Iggy, Iggy trying to... Oh, Ooh. trying to recover. Oh. He ends up dying. And so now we have a 2v1 in the opposite oh. direction. That spot dodge got a monkey on it. Yeah. We're going to see whether or not... Uh, Aerolink can come forth and just take the 2-0 victory. You see that peanut to peanut? Reflect. Yeah, peanut. yeah, yeah. It. All right, grabbing the ledge. Aerolink tries to go for the fair. Ooh, oh, ends up taking control of the stage by himself. Ends up getting pushed off immediately again. Oh, that's a bunny rabbit balloon. Oh, Dinty he ends up missing the, the balloon. Oh, and ends up catching him with the up. That's classic Brawl team team combination. You make yeah. him there dodge and the other guy cleans it up. Yep. Yeah, yeah, very much so. Okay, so uh, Blink and Dinty are going to be talking about their strategy for game number three. Alright. Uh, so, what was the difference between this game and the last game? What happened? Diddy. Was it Diddy? Sheik, as, as well as... Okay, so Sheik has needles, but if your teammate's in front of you, you can't really use them like you want to. Yeah. Diddy, having a banana in the hand... Means you're much more controlled, and if you throw it, it's only going to go so far. Yeah, it's so true. We actually did see the banana being used very well, and though she can recover from a lot of situations, Diddy, like I said, that monkey flip from the top of the stage allowed yep. him to stay behind his teammate and survive to 120 damage, 125 damage for a greater part of that first stop. Oh, yes, very much so. Uh, Diddy providing a large amount of work. Also, just in general, being able to choose when he approaches and when not. Having a command grab is insane in Smash. Yeah. You've seen it a in moving Brawl, <laughs> PM, whatever. All of them, all of them. Command grabs are insane, especially whenever they are command grabs that you can use in the air. That stage also did have high platforms on the sides because, you know, they move left, right, and up, down a little yeah. bit. So let's yeah. see what Battlefield does to change the Diddy. So I think the static platforms, uh, so Rosalina, large hitboxes. The static small platforms may give Rosalina a bit more control in general, but uh, I think part of the problem is going to be that Rosalina's got to actually get the moves out. Correct. And uh, maybe this stage isn't the correct stage for that. I don't know. So We're going to find out. I'm looking very carefully at what happens to Loma and how that changes the way he plays. doesn't look like it's changing it very much. Perhaps if he threw in more side Bs just for interruption and control, right? Yeah. Uh, See, um, Luma's dying so easily. I don't yeah. know how you can build your team strategy around that. It's true. Very true. Oh, a good up air by Dinty. Uh, almost. Ooh. That's going to oh, be it. Oh, he didn't DI that properly. Yeah. Well, I mean, in general, it whenever you get the higher percents against... You can't escape? It, it's not that you can't escape. It's that it is nearly inescapable. Okay. Essentially, you just have so few options that you have like three options don't do anything air dodge or put out move and uh the don't do anything and put out a move uh get beat by if diddy kong just does something and the air dodge uh gets beat by just waiting yeah. so i've seen it's, diddy's trap as well the yeah. up air miss okay forward air you're like really yeah really it's, monkey it's it's very difficult to get out of sometimes you can get out of it but uh, I don't think the metagame has evolved enough to determine, like, if that's actually guaranteed or not. Yeah, and it's know. definitely not far enough to know whether or not we should ban Diddy. All that ban talk on Diddy oh, yeah. is silly talk. Shh. That's, that's silly. That's silly. <laughs> we'll ignore that. Oh, good dad. Good Ooh. coverage by Aerolink. Falco it's looking a, angry. Yeah. <laughs> we got, oh, wow. Excellent down there. Ends up taking Blink to the bottom blast zone. Sends him to his grave. Good blue team on their back heel. They need to hold on with Rosa Luma right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very much so. Uh, Iggy's going to have to play a bit more carefully right now. Wants to essentially... Uh, oh, no! Ooh, wow! Excellent back air. Iggy was not expecting that. Just wanted to hold on to the ledge and just get a little bit more breathing uh, just to be able to... Again, know. Diddy's hit points or Diddy's percentage. Yeah. Very high. Look what he's doing, just falling back. And it doesn't really matter what they do if Diddy never loses yeah. his stock. Yep, exactly. And and that's not even killing him either. 160. If Rosalina was in rage, that would have killed. Yeah. All right, so good grab yeah, by Diddy. Yeah, flipping out. Always flipping out. Yeah, it's, it's a low-risk, 
uh, move whenever you're uh, doing a Diddy flip away from uh, all engagement. It's pretty difficult to punish in general, uh, especially in a team's environment. Correct. So Four throw does not end up taking it. He reads the air dodge, forces it, but could not get the punish. And the problem is they're spending too much energy looking at Diddy, trying to get the kill. Even though you have to get back to him. Yep. Good so back Diddy's throw. finally gone. All right, so not relatively bad, even though. game. Yeah. yeah, this is not bad. If if all that percent was on one person, it would be pretty bad. But because of the dispersed percentages, uh, they can easily come back in this game. Mm. I really want, I really want Iggy to use those star bits. The, those disjointed projectiles would really stop that forward uh, pressure from Falco and Diddy. It would even kill the banana, I believe. Oh. Even though there's not a lot of bananas out right now. Yeah. Uh, in general, uh, Dinty hasn't really perfected oh, bananas and what he should be doing, really. Mm. So, uh, good grab by Iggy, forcing nice. forcing Dinty off on the back foot. One cool thing you can do in teams is have clear spots that you'd like to attack if it oh. comes down to a reaction. So, like, I attack up, you attack down. But it looks like Blue Team is running little, like, racing loops, going up and around the platforms and then back to the middle. That's really cool as well. Yeah. Let's see, Rosalie or Palatini goes forward, up and then back. Yeah, look at that, little racing loops. <laughs> All right, so uh, Airlink is doing very well, just keeping away. He has 135%. Most smash attacks from both of these players are really just going to wreak havoc on her, probably end up uh, destroying that last stock of hers. Mm. Um, their goal right now is just to play conservatively, and take these two stocks. And if they can do that, then the 2v1 will work out for them. But we're right. going to see. Yeah, it's always super tense right here. Oh, oh wow. They the killing, Smash is flying. Who's going to get more desperate? <gasps> oh, oh, and the side B ends up taking Blink's stock. This could be it. If they can get Dinty off of the stage, get him out of combat, this could be it. Oh, ends up missing Did the it hit up Lama? air. Did it hit Lama install? He just missed it. He okay. just flat out missed it. Ooh, so dangerous using grabs when the other person came. Well, Diddy has no nothing. And that's it. it. Ooh, Ooh, it's now a 2v1. This is exactly what we were talking about, guys. Yep. So now from this. Ooh. Oh, tricky. That, good, Ooh. good ledge cancel there. Tricky. See that? That's the double coverage. This is this is this is going to be really hard for Blink. He's got he got the cold seal. He ends up getting oh. it up there. What? Oh no. Oh, 75% to 128. Iggy is now doing multiple rolls. He's panicking a bit, but that Nair is going to cover him very well. Uh, Blink is trying to figure out an opening through Luma. Luma keeping Ooh. excellent, excellent spacing. He doesn't know exactly what to do, but Luma doing the one, two, three punch. Right. Tries to get the Galactic Smashes. Comp. Smashes uh, mean you're greedy. Ouch. And that's it. And that's it. Iggy ends up <laughs> taking it. Love power wow. Out. That was pretty crazy. <laughs> wow. Good stuff by Aerolink mm. and Iggy. Wow. That was just pure teamwork. Learning when to clutch and how yeah. to clutch right there at the end. Who's Who needs to survive? Who's going to get the kill? And uh, I think that, that up smash from Falco. Whoa. 